Okay, so ladies, tell me a little bit about this project of yours that you're working on. It sounds quite exciting. Yeah, well, oh, so it's called I'm Fine, Thanks for Asking. Um, it's a film that we did during the pandemic. Um, I woke up one morning with this pressing need to make something. So I called my two really good friends um, and, and my writing partner, Dion Cole. So I called Roma Kong, who's on here with us. I called Angelique Molina, who's my co-director and uh, Dion Cole, my writing partner and uh, told them like, yo, we gotta make something, let's go. Um, and um, we, I had a stimulus check. So I'm like, let's, let's try to make something off of the stimulus check and just, and just friendship and love. And as we all um, discussed it, we wanted to reflect what was going on in the times and what people um, and some of us have been affected with, um, maybe not as extreme, but definitely on the verge of it. Um, with the issue of just living paycheck to paycheck and 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 not being able to um, pay rent and possibly having to be on the, the streets or maybe a friend's couch or your parents couch or in your car or just that that we we um, were exploring the the concept of houselessness not so much homelessness um, which is the majority of us that are just that one paycheck away from having to call a friend, call a parent, call a, you know, you don't know where you might be. And the pandemic really showed us where we stand economically. And so um, when I talked to Roma and Angelique and uh, Dion, that's the thing that we agreed to um, explore. And then Roma, if you want to add to that, like how we got to Danny's character. Yeah, well, uh, we, Angelique, Kelly, and I, we went to USC together. So we had, ever since we graduated back in 2017, we were like hoping to make a movie together. So uh, Kelly called and we we're like, this is our chance to make it, let's do it. Um, and so we started figuring out um, how to tell this story, especially with all the restrictions going on and trying to everyone safe on set especially also because there was a heat wave going on so um kelly was like why don't uh, we shoot in the city of pacoima which is where i grew up so uh and we can show appreciation for the city and then we also had a lot of friends there who could help us make this movie um so we decided to go for it Kelly and Angelique love to skate. So we're like, let's make her a skater. And it will be really interesting uh, in the visual part too, because nobody skates in Pacoima. So she would be like this fish out of water trying to uh, get by and trying to get that last money to get that apartment for her little girl. So, um, so that's how we came to her character. And the fact that she was going to be skating throughout the entire movie. <laughs> that Very is cool. Thank you. And what would you say was the biggest challenge other than filming during a pandemic for making this movie? Uh, I would say the remote, having to do a lot of things that we're used to doing, rem but having to do it remotely, Roma did a ton of producing remotely, you know? Um, and then our sound mixing was in Kentucky. It was remotely, like, cause that was our other USC um, friend who does sound. And then our VFX was done all over the place remotely. Our, um, our color, like we had to be, that was hard because it's like normally you can sit in the color studio and see it on the properly calibrated screen and um with this we had to when he was doing his work he had to send it to us and we have like all these different screens so my laptop looks different from Roma's laptop and or if I throw it up to my tv it looks totally different from the laptop or the phone or the ipad and it's like which one is true color and so like Roma might be like why are the flowers green and I'm like aren't they dark blue and it's like <laughs> it's just it, that was really hard and I mean thank god we were able to um, go to the theater to do our setting like we like we got to see it they had to space us out only three people could be in this theater 
and uh, we got to do the setting session so we could see what it's supposed to look like on the screen. And then after that, we had to do it remotely. And then we came back to see what the final looked like on the screen. And it, thank God it worked. Like all this remote stuff worked, but it was very hard, Sammy, like very oh, hard. That's crazy. Roma, you have anything you want to add? Well, I'm in Peru right now. So uh, it's been kind of an issue with, because I, I, I'm an editor as well. So I've been helping out a lot uh, on the post-production side. And so I've been doing credits and all this stuff. And I don't have all my equipment here. Uh, so it's really hard when you're exporting things. They're taking way longer because we don't have all this uh, big computers and stuff. So it's been really hard just exporting things over and over again with the editors. Uh, they also have like, oh, that link is not working. You can't see that. Oh no, it's working in my computer. So <laughs> it's a lot of like back and forth and things are taking longer, but it's also helping us learn new ways to do things like with the sound mix. That was a whole issue of technical issues that they had to do. I wasn't in LA when they did the sound, the sound mix. So uh, they had to set up microphones for like ADR in one location. Um, and in closets. Then, yeah. We were in our closet. In closet. Yeah. And, yeah. Then we had one actor uh, in China. <laughs> so Who had to go into... And then our and then our even our titles were done by our other USC friend who's back home in Colombia and her her internet and her stuff wasn't like high speed and and like our we shot in 6k and she didn't have all of her equipment either she wasn't able to export matching the exports that we had and so she had to like try to make it is 2k okay for the titles like there was like a lot of compromise because of all of us around the world trying to come together and, and make this one film, um, but it worked. <laughs> that is impressive. That is impressive. Uh, film during quarantine from what made all around the world. I love it. Yeah. Yep. And what would you, each of you say is your standout moment of making this? Like one moment that you're gonna be telling for the rest of your lives? You got something, Roma? <laughs> uh, oh my God. I think the part that I've enjoyed the most and I, I've learned so much about just uh, how important organization is and just checking everything has been throughout like all our finishing stages because that's like when I've started to like be even more involved because uh, because of my post-production knowledge and everything and just getting everyone together and it's because it's the part where we've been completely remote uh because we were we were in production we were together like doing it on set so we could discuss things but during this whole delivery process it's been tough because there's so many details that are left once you even like picture lock, there's so much stuff left to do. Um, and it's just been a great learning curve to just figure out how like, you're like, okay, we gotta do the color, we gotta do the sound mix, we gotta do ADR, we gotta do this. And then we also have to think about marketing and PR and figuring out all the social media strategy. And I'm also, cause I'm a, um, I'm a graphic designer too, so I've been designing a lot of the graphics, um, most of the graphics for the film. So that's been really fun because I love to graphic design. So yeah, that's been really great to use my um, extra skills to help the, the movie. Yeah, and she's been fantastic. This girl is great at what she does, dude. She like makes us look all sh shiny and perfect <laughs> when we're not. <laughs> so for me, um, there's a lot really um I would say like to to start it would be what so coming from University of Southern California for film we're taught to be by the book we're we're very strict on rules and regulations and things like this and this was the first time we had to really be 
grungy with it. I, I call it Picassoing it because Picasso said, "Learn the rules so you can break them." So it's like we we know the rules, <laughs> but we had to break them to get it done. So like we gorillaed this and. And, um, you know, we had to steal a lot of shots. We were basic, we were inspired by like um, Sean Baker's Tangerine and like how he just got up and just did it. And then even my friend Kasim, Kasim Basir and Sam Tanner with their their movie that was at Sundance, um, Boy, Girl, A Dream. It was at Sundance last year. They they just wrote an outline and shot that. And, and so it was like, well, we could do that too. And so it was a lot of like gorilling, hiding, ducking, talking to the police oh my god the police one of the police officers was was a usc graduate so when they came up we were all like nervous <laughs> like what are they gonna ask you we're like well we're we're recent usc grads just trying to make a movie during this time and they're like you're usc fight on and we all were like oh thank you god <laughs> <laughs> and they ended up like protecting us the rest of the time they're like tell us where you're being we'll let the other officers know and so it just like all that stuff um, ended up working out, but it, it was definitely something I will never forget because we're so used to following the rules exactly. Now, we never violated any safety rules that we didn't do, but in regards to like, you know, a permit here or there, we, <laughs> we might have shot on a corner here or there and just kept it pushing, you know. Um, but the other thing that I'll, I'll never forget is that we, this is our first feature. And so we're so used to doing shorts and we, none of us really knew what it took like after it's done, like the legal and like trying to get it ready for like a festival, like South by Southwest for a world premiere and like all the things that come with it to make it ready to go out to market. Like we've never done that before. And there's just so much stuff that we are like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, we should have done that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Like. <laughs> So, yeah we've learned a lot that's incredible and one thing i like to ask people i interview is tell me a fun fact about yourself that might surprise people roma come on I'm can serious. i say a fun fact about roma sure oh, why don't you say my fun god fact? <laughs> I, there's a fun fact about me and Roma we share the same birthday yeah Ooh. and we September 16th I'm the 24th no way we got the September month hey. <laughs> yep and we've celebrated our birthdays together since the day, basically since the day we met um because we got to school together at USC for our master's in in an, in August in an August and so our birthday's in September and we've We've done roller skating parties together, rented out the whole roller skating venue. We've, uh, we go to, Roma is a big Disney fan, huge. So much that it spills onto me. Like I have a season pass to Disneyland because of Roma. <laughs> like we go to Disneyland for our birthdays and we do all these things together um, for our birthdays. And she, that's, that's really the fun fact about Roma. She is a Disney connoisseur. She knows it inside and out. She knows every song and she can sing. So she sings them and she like, it's, dude, it's, it's so much fun being around her. She is like a, I want to call her a Disney princess. She like, she likes the villains, you know, she's like the darker side of Disney. <laughs> That's so cute. That is adorable. Yeah. <laughs> um, about Kelly, well, other, like, she is so um, intuitive with like her energy and she's always sharing facts about how to like keep good energy on the floor. Also, she is a vegetarian and likes to eat shrimp, medicine shrimp. And then she, one time she was like, this shrimp is so good. It tastes just like shrimp. And I was like, okay, let's try it. And I'm like, Kelly, this tastes nothing like shrimp my, my, <laughs> fake, my fake shrimp <laughs> oh see and my dogs are already huge fans of yours oh uh, yeah that's so cute that's so funny yeah i call myself a vegan a fake vegan because like oh. I'll, I'll occasionally eat like if if you put some real crab legs in front of me i'm eating them i'm sorry i'm trying my best but but she's right i always try to feed roma some fake meat <laughs> And she'll be like, Kelly, this is, this is, 
this isn't real. It doesn't, it, it does, it's not working for me, Kelly. It's not, you know, like, it's so good. It's good though. Some of it's really good. Yeah. It's not bad. It just doesn't taste like shrimp. <laughs> She's like, if you accept it for what it is, which is not shrimp, then yeah, it's good. But don't tell me it's shrimp because this is not shrimp, Kelly. This is absolutely not shrimp. <laughs> that's too funny I like it yeah I agree it's good but it doesn't always taste like it what do you think it would mm -hmm. yeah that's true you got to go into it with a different mindset you know? yeah you got to get used to, I think it takes some getting used to and then you're like oh okay yep yeah my sister, my sister in law is a vegetarian so that's why you know sometimes she'll cook it up and then I got used to it I'm like okay yeah this does taste like beef or whatever after all so yeah it takes a while to get there it and does, since, it does. And since we're a TV site, what are you watching on TV these days? I'm watching WandaVision. <laughs> like, almost everyone. Uh, yeah, that's what I've been watching. And just every week, I'm like, next episode, I need to see it. Uh, so, yeah, that's been really fun. And then I've been watching, also, I watched the other day, the, the new do uh, Netflix documentary, uh, about the girl who disappeared at the at the hotel in LA, at the oh, hotel. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I heard that's good. Yeah. I watch it. It's on my list. I have like a list a mile long, and that's on there. Yeah, I know. There's so much content now to try to keep up with. Yeah. Um, for me, I haven't really been watching TV, TV like series. Um, I haven't really watched a series since Game of Thrones and that let me down so <laughs> I just I just been watching um I just been watching like movies and uh so the la last movie I watched was uh, Judas and the Black Messiah um which is it's on HBO now which is um produced by Ryan Coogler and Charles King and um directed by Shaka King and it's it's about the Black Panther party about Fred Hampton yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. It is so, you guys have to watch this. It's phenomenal. It's so well, it's one of those movies I'll watch again. You know, sometimes you watch stuff and you're like, it's so good, but you don't want to sit through it again. Like, yeah, I will watch this again. It's that good. That They, they did a phenomenal job on that. Um, and then before that, I watched um, Palm Springs with Andy Samberg. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It was good. Yeah, I've heard it's really good. I was like, I didn't really expect much. <laughs> but then I watched it. I was like, yeah, this is this it's is a good, great yeah. movie. Yeah, because they kind of did this like Groundhog Day sort of, you know, homage to. And it was kind of like, oh, how are you guys going to do Groundhog Day again? They did it. They did it in a way that was unique and didn't feel like dry and redone it i was very impressed with this film very impressed hulu, right you think it's, a hulu movie? it's on hulu hulu's got all the bangers right now dude hulu has got it on lock um so i think a lot of the um the oscar predictions are on hulu like a large majority of them yeah they are they did fantastic this year so yeah oh and malcolm and marie Yes. with um yeah with john washington and and zendaya oh they need they need a sag nomination for something because those two came with it in that one did you get to see it yet roma no I girl i'm serious they shot this during the pandemic too yeah. and they shot it in one location and it's just them and um sam livingston he's the he's the creator of um euphoria so he's kind of like zendaya's kind of been like his muse lately and he's really he he knows how to bring it out in the actors i mean this movie is it's fabulous i mean it, you know it's 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 dialogue heavy but boy do they make it interesting i they really keep your attention it's it's great so those are the three films that have really um got my attention this quarantine <laughs> yeah sendai is fantastic the fact that she started i think she started as a disney star and now mm -hmm. she's all grown up and did dancing with the stars and all this 
I'm like, damn girl, you're great. You're fantastic. She really is. And she's beautiful and she's talented. Yep. Yep. She's definitely someone I wish I could be. (laughs) You are. She's amazing. (laughs) She's so tall. I know, and I'm only 4'10", so. Wait, you're 4'10"? You look so tall on the screen. (laughs) Yeah. I'll take it. That's why I always I, I, I position myself so I look taller. I love it. <laughs> so where can we find you guys on social media? Uh, well, I'm mostly on Instagram now. So it's uh, Roma.com. So basically my name just with a, with a little dot in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. And then I, I am... It, it, it literally is. I am Kelly Kali, K E L L E Y K A L I, um, and then our movie page is Thanks for Asking Movie. So um, Thanks for Asking Movie is on IG. It's on Facebook, and then is it the same on Instagram, Roma? Roma runs it. Uh, no, in, in Instagram, yeah. Thanks for Asking Movie. Yeah. On tw- on Twitter, sorry. And on on Twitter, Twitter, is it? IFTFA Movie. Ah, IFTFA. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then we also want to um, take the time to acknowledge um, our co-director, Angelique Molina, and then our other producers, Capella Fahum and Dion Cole, because like, it, it's really, it's, I mean, it's a large team, but in regards to the producing team, it's a team of five. And um, this movie really couldn't have been done without everybody. It's like, um, we all brought our own talents and um, have been the glue in our own <laughs> strengths, you know? So we were able to eke out this m- movie during the pandemic on start, starting with a um, stimulus check. And here we are, world premiering at South by Southwest in competition. So we're so excited. It all started with a stimulus check. I oh. love <laughs> <laughs> It all started with Steven <laughs> did. Good story for the kids one day. <laughs> Gather round, children, gather round. <laughs> it all started with a stimulus check during the great pandemic of 2020. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you, ladies, for taking the time today. I appreciate you both, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and good luck with everything. Thank you, Sammy. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. 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 Bye.